What is up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to a special Euro 2016 themed Q&A video. Loads of you guys have asked for this, so I'm doing a Q&A video with only Euro 2016 questions, related questions answered. If you want to see more videos uh, around the Euros, uh, smash the like button and let me know which games should I do fan zone live reactions for. And also I'm planning to start a couple of Euro 2016 series on my channel, which I'm very, very excited for. And also you guys have recommended me and my friends to play some of the Euro 2016 games on FIFA, so we will try to do that. Thank you so much for your awesome support. This is probably the 87k or the 88k Q&A for, for reaching that milestone of subscribers. But we already reached 89,000 subscribers and we keep growing. Make sure to share my videos with your friends and hopefully we can get to 100k this year. That's my dream. And let's get straight into the question. Connor William Patterson asks, can Will Grigg set up, step up on the international stage? I just absolutely love that. Will Grigg is on fire. Your defense is terrified. Will Grigg's on fire. Absolutely love that song, man. I've, I've been watching so many <laughs> Vines and YouTube videos. I think that he will step up and I think I actually think he will score a goal in the Euros and then the, the fans, the Northern Ireland fans will go absolutely mental. So Mohamed Faris asked, how far do you think Turkey will go? I think they will finish third in their group be behind Spain and Croatia. And then I think they will get, get knocked out in the round of 16 uh, by England potentially, if England win their group. So that's my prediction for Turkey. They have a pretty good team, they can cause an upset. And maybe they can finish second if uh, they can beat Croatia and the Czech Republic. So we shall wait and see. Who would you support if England played Ireland? That's a hard one. I would still sp probably support England because, uh, you know, I've been supporting England for longer. But I love both teams, so it will be... Maybe I, will, I won't be that disappointed if either, either team, uh, you know, wins, to be honest. And uh, yeah, that was that question was from Nathan LFC 100. Nexi, uh, who is from Poland and he's a YouTuber as well, he says, "What do you think of the Poland squad for Euro? Do they have a chance at even third? We got Levy, Milik, Krihoviak. I'm not sure if you mean third in the group or third in the Euros. If you are asking third in the Euros, I don't think Poland has a chance for that. But I actually." Uh, put them as a second in a group ahead of Northern Ireland and the Ukraine in my predictions and I think I think they will actually go to the quarterfinals and maybe play Spain and get knocked out there I can certainly see uh, why some people say that Poland is one of the dark horses of the tournament because they have some really good players Krihoviak is a beast they have Lewandowski and Milik as well, they can score goals. How far will Belgium go Go and in what area do they need to improve? Uh, well, they have a complete team. They have great defense, defenders, midfielders and attackers. But uh, I just feel that maybe they are not, uh, you know, not fulfilling their potential. Because on paper they are almost as good as uh, the likes of France and uh, Spain. So... If Belgium click, they can win the whole thing. They can win the Euros. I put them uh, into the quarterfinals, so I think they will go to the quarterfinals and then lose to Germany. But if they click, I can certainly see them winning the tournament because they have Lukaku, Origi, Benteke, some really good strikers. They have Eden Hazard, who on his day can beat anybody uh, with pace and skill. Uh, who, which the, uh, so yeah, that's my answer. Uh, and they have a great defense. I don't think they have a particular weakness. Maybe their midfield is not as strong as the other areas, but if company is fit, they have a very good defense. Uh, so we shall wait and see. Which team do you think uh, will be in the final? Well, I think Spain and Germany will be in the final, but I can see 
France making it maybe to the final or Belgium certainly and um, yeah other questions related to um, Euro 2016 who, who do you think is the biggest talent in the in the Euro 2016 squad I think you mean uh, the older squads and uh, it's hard to pick uh, maybe Milik of Poland is a big talent. I certainly rate Divok Origi very highly in the Belgium squad. So if I have to choose, I will say uh, Origi is the biggest talent. Of course, I'm 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 saying that as a Liverpool fan, you know. But uh, okay, so uh, it's Lars96 asks, who do you think will be the top scorer and assist leader in Euro 2016? I think the top scorer will be Antoine Griezmann. I can see certainly France making it to the semi-finals or to the final who will be the top uh, assist man maybe Dimitri Pae but it's very hard to call you know assists uh, ca can come from all over the place uh, Meshutuzia has a good chance for Germany if Germany get to the final or the semi-final which Liverpool player will make the biggest impact at the tournament again I have to stick to my guns and say Divock Origi I think he will be the biggest impact in terms of uh, you know a Liverpool player I don't think Sturridge will start for England regularly otherwise I would say Sturridge if he was first choice for England but at the moment it looks like uh, Sturridge isn't first choice and uh, Stevie asks uh, what do you think Spain needs to do to get back on top I think they need to uh, focus on what they they are good at uh, uh, Combination play, short passing, and they, they need to get uh, uh, Morata and uh, Aduriz uh, the ball. I, I, they need to create chances for them because I think Spain uh, will be very strong. They are a little bit of an underdogs in this tournament. Everybody is talking about Germany, France, uh, England, Belgium. Um, not a lot of people are talking about Spain, but I think they can have a good tournament because they certainly have a lot of world-class midfielders and uh, some very good defenders in their team, so we shall wait and see. And now let's move over to your uh, Facebook questions. Um, so yeah, if you, are, if you are not following me on, following me on Twitter or Facebook, make, make sure you do. Links are in the video description and then you can take part in these kind of... Uh, you at the video so Aaron Komiski asks uh, how will my boys the Republic of Ireland do in the Euros I think they will uh, qualify as one of the best four third place teams and in the round of 16 I think uh, the Republic of Ireland so they will finish third in the group and then I think they will get knocked out by Spain in the quarterfinals so that's my prediction um, okay Brandon asks, how far do you think Belgium will make it to? Uh, I already asked that that I already answered that uh, question. How far do you think Hungary will make it to? I'm praying that we have a good tournament and I actually predicted that Hungary will finish third in the in group F and then as one of the four best third place team, I think we will play Germany and we'll get absolutely thrashed, maybe three near four near. But I hope I'm wrong, I hope I'm wrong and Hungary can maybe do a Greece and go to the final, but that uh, my heart is saying that and not my head. So, uh, Youssef Sali asks, are you planning on going to France to watch the games? I was thinking strongly about it when Hungary made it to the Euros, but honestly, most of my friends are, you know, not huge football fanatics and it would take an absolute fortune to go to France and to get tickets and everything else and I would only do it if uh, my friends were up for it because uh, we love to go on road trips but if you know none of my friends wants to go to the Euros and spend like uh, uh, half a years uh, of salary on just going there for two weeks uh, so so yeah because my friends are not willing to go I'm not going there on my own to be honest that's why that's why I decided against it and uh, I think it will be a gr still a great experience to watch it with my Hungarian friends watching the, watching the Euros uh, for the first time where Hungary is in the competition. Uh, Kara Miker Casillas, I guess he's a Casillas fan, asks Do you think Spain will reach the final? Yes I do, I think Spain will 
We play Germany in the final and maybe Germany will win it. That's my prediction. But, you know, let me know your predictions in the comments below. Uh, George Smith thinks that uh, Müller will, will uh, have the biggest uh, impact in the Euros. I think Griezmann will have the biggest impact. That's my, my uh, prediction. But Müller is also a very good shout. Uh, is Spain going to dominate the Euros? We already talked about that. Mohamed Abbas, do you think Wales will make it? Well, they already made it to the Euros for the first time in like, what, 60 years, 64 years? So I think uh, my prediction actually is that Wales will be also in the, in the round of 16. Yeah, so I actually predicted that Wales will come second in Group B behind England. And I think Wales will actually knock out Austria and get to the quarterfinals. And they could have a really good tournament because they have a rock solid defense and Gareth Bale can score against any team. Uh, Manolis uh, Paradeisopoulos asks, do you think Hungary can do a Greece and win the Euros? Honestly, I don't. It would be the biggest upset in, in football history. I mean, even bigger than Leicester winning the Premier League. You have no idea. Hungary has been in the absolute wilderness for 30 years. We came nowhere near qualifying for a football tournament, so for us to win the Euros would be like the biggest shock ever, honestly. Um, let's see, other, other of your questions, who would be top scorer, Anton Griezmann, I already answered that. Um, and yeah, if you want to, uh, want to listen to my detailed Euro 2016 predictions, I already made a 20 minute video talking about every team every nation and one last question uh, Shane Monahan, Monahan asks do you think Marcus Rashford will make an impact at the Euros I don't think so I think he's the fourth choice striker for England so I think maybe he will come on as a substitute if England is losing but I would certainly bring on storage more than Rashford so I, I may if he's lucky and he gets a chance maybe he can score a goal because he's a great finisher to be honest and he play, plays with the maturity of, of a 25 year old striker basically uh, okay one last question T's Fun Guns a Dutch subscriber asks what is, this, what is the reason that the Netherlands didn't qualify for Euro 2016 I think they got complacent uh, during the during the qualification process and also they have a very they had a very very tough group Iceland played an absolute blinder in the qualifiers, the Turkey is a very very strong team and the Netherlands were just not consistent enough. Uh, there were you know infighting between the manager and the players and maybe they are just in a transition uh, because some of the older generation are going out and, and the younger players are not yet ready to step up on the international level. Or in all honesty, the Netherlands still should have qualified to the Euros, so I feel for all my Dutch subscribers, but I'm sure that uh, you will qualify for the World Club because you have some great talent, especially Quincy Promise, I'm very eagerly watching his development, you know that he is one of my favorite players on career mode. So that was it for my Euro 2016 Q&A video, make sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it, I really hope you did, thanks for watching, see you later guys, goodbye!